Here I want to show you how you can create a linear function, in this case we'll create an equation, that will allow us to predict what could happen in the future if the trend continues linearly. And so I've got this, this problem here, uh, cited with data from National Education Association, that says that uh, per student expenditure for public schools increased approximately linearly. So you should think like um, y equals mx plus b for linearly. Linear equations look something like that. Um, from So the expenditure went from $2.2,000. I don't need that symbol if I write the word dollars. From $2.2,000 in 1980 to $10.8,000 in 2008. And then, so I, I know some information there. I can use that information to try to predict the per student expenditure in 2017. Before I do that, I need to start thinking about how to set up this sort of equation. So I need, a, I need an output variable and I need an input variable, basically like y and x in this equation. So uh, we're going to use a function. And what I'm going to do, you can use whatever letter you want. Um, I choose to use, let's say, e for expenditure will be my function of t, which will be my, my input. So my expenditure is going to be my output. My time or my year will be my input. So I choose to use e of t, which represents per student expenditure. And just to make it clear, in thousands of dollars. So when I'm doing this, I don't have to write $2.2 thousand dollars as 2,200. I could just simply use 2.2. And then we know that the unit for that is thousand dollars. Okay. So E of T will represent the per student expenditure in thousands of dollars. T years. And you need to pick a starting point for when you're going to start measuring your years. And for me, it doesn't matter what you choose, but for me, the first year mentioned is 1980. So I'm going to choose T years since 1980. Okay, so 1980 will be kind of like my zero T value, and E of T will be my will be my function that represents my expenditure in whatever year I'm using. Okay, so uh, let me make this font smaller so we can do some work now. So what I'm trying to do is figure out an equation or a formula for E of T. need a formula for this function, e of t, which will look like mx plus b. So it'll be m for slope. Instead of x, I've got the input variable t plus b. So I need my m value and my b value. Okay. So now I need to start using the data that's presented. So I need two points, two data points. One data point says the expenditures were $2.2,000 in 1980. What that tells me is, well, in 1980, t is 0. So when t is 0, my expenditure is $2.2,000. Well, expenditure is e of t. So e of t, let me write that a little cleaner, e of t, the expenditure, is 2.2. And I already know that's the unit is thousands of dollars, so I don't have to put thousands on here at all. So t equals zero, e of t is 2.2, so that gives me the ordered pair zero comma 2.2. Okay, that's the blue data up here in the paragraph or the sentence. Then I know the expenditure of 10.8 thousand dollars was measured in 2008. So that means when T is, well, 2008 is 28 years after 1980. So that means T is 28. The expenditure per student was $10.8,000. So I get the ordered pair 28 comma 10.8.
to this point represents the green data from the sentence. Now I can calculate my slope. My slope is rise over run. I could plot these two points and visually see my rise over run, or I can say that my rise is how much my y's change and my x's is how much my, uh, or my run is how much my x's change. So from 2.2 .2 to 10.8, I rise 8.6. And from 0 to 28, I run 28. So my slope is rise 8.6 divided by run 28. And if I put that in decimal form, which can be useful, I get approximately 0 0.307. And I can carry out more decimals if I want. But now I've got my slope. And if I want to know my B value, then I have to plug in values for the other three numbers. OK? So to get B, I've got my M. I need a T value. And I need an E of T value. Well, luckily, I've got one, two data points here. I just choose one of those. So let's choose data point one. t equals 0. e of t then has to be 2.2. .2. So I can plug those in to the formula up that I have up here that I'm trying to figure out, the equation. I can plug these three values in and determine my b value. Okay. So I've got, let me recall the formula, E of T equals MT plus B. So E of T is 2.2, .2, M is 0 0.307, times T, which is 0, plus B, which I don't know. So I need to solve this for B. 0 0.307 times 0 is just 0. B plus 0 is B, so I know that B has to be 2.2. .2. So my equation, or let's, it's an equation, but it's also a function. So I will call this my function model. This is the equation we'll use to model the behavior of this expenditure is E of T. All I'm going to do is plug in the numbers for M and B that I figured out. Okay. Everything else is a variable. E of T equals my slope, 0 0.307, times my input variable T plus my B value, which is 2.2. .2. So this is my model that I can use now to answer any questions about expenditure. All right, so let's go find the question. Notice the question did not say anything about find an equation. All it told me was find the per student expenditure in 2017. Well, I needed an equation to, to predict that. I've got it now. So what do I know about 2017? Well, I know that my T value is 37 because 2017 is 37 years after my starting year of 1980. So T is measured from 1980, and 2017 is 37 years since 1980. So I take this value, I plug it into my model for T, and I calculate the expenditure which is what the question was, and that's represented by E of T. So I end up with E of T equals 0 0.307 times 37 plus 2.2. .2. So E of T equals, if you multiply and then add, let's see, looks like you get um, approximately 13.559. So now let's answer the question. So in 2017, we predict approximately 13.6 thousand dollars, because the expenditure is in thousands of dollars, in per student expenditure. Because I know T is 37, of course that means the year is 2017, and E of T, which is the expenditure, is approximately 13.6, and that is in thousands of dollars. And that's how you do it. You take the given information, 
try to come up with your function, which we did, your model. And then once you've got your model, your equation, you can plug things into it to calculate whatever is being asked.